So we will now have our second activity. Let's explore the area of a circle. So the area of a circle. So we're going to be using this cutout circle and I divided it into eight parts. Okay. So we will discover how to find the area of a circle using, using the formulas that we just derived a while ago. So to do that, I'm going to ask Diana to cut the circle into eight parts. Our cutting was not that equally divided but if you're going to put them together can you imagine can you form a rectangle or let's say let's say a parallelogram okay this is actually the result if we cut it in equally uh, equals equal parts this will be the result okay so just try to imagine that okay let's say we form that so the the figure that we form here is a parallelogram okay right in a parallelogram we can just say base times height so this will be the base and this is the height okay, let's go back to our cutout circle okay so in here i would draw the base and the other base on top Okay, and the height. Somehow that's the height. Okay. So base times height. Okay, let's cover that. So base times height. Now, remember that our base here from the original circle is actually half of the circle, right? Diana, is it half of the circle? This, this, plus this, plus this, plus that. Is that half of the circle? Mm -hmm. That's half of the circle, right? So if that's half of the circle, the distance around the circle, then we can say that this is half of the... Half of the... Um, circle. Circumference. So our base is actually half of the circumference, right? Because the other half is on, on top. Follow? The other half is on top. You see that, 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 that. The other half is on top. So the base here is actually circumference divided by 2 because we see it's half. Remember, the other base is circumference divided by 2 on top. Okay, so if we add them, we add them together, we get the whole, the entire circumference. And the height. Let's talk about the height. What can you say about this? If this is the height, how is that related to the part of the circle, Yana? That height there. See that? Or I would draw a line there. They are the same. Okay. How do you call that? What is that related to the original circle? Width. Very good. So Yana said that's the radius. So the height is actually the radius. Get it? Get it, Yana? So again. Half of the circumference and the height is actually the radius. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the formula of getting the area of a rectangle length times width of a parallelogram base times height. So base is circumference divided by 2, height is the radius. So we're going to multiply that circumference divided by 2 or half of the circumference times the radius. Okay, so pay closely. To get the area of the entire circle formed into another figure, we are going to multiply half of the circumference times the radius. We know from this, oh, it's reversed. We know from this that circumference is 2 pi r. So we can substitute the circumference here with 2 pi r. Follow. So 2 pi r 2 times pi times r or pi times diameter divided by 2 times the radius okay i say yeah. times the radius so r times r okay now in a short way as r squared so you would say area of a circle is pi times 
r squared or pi r squared okay but i usually tell my class to just say area is pi times r times r okay we discovered that the formula to get the area of a circle is pi times r times r so i'm gonna write back the formula in getting for the circumference circumference of a circle is pi or 2 times pi times diameter or 2 times pi times r now i taught my students a rhyme a nursery rhyme about twinkle twinkle little star circumference is 2 pi r how i wonder what you are area is pi times r times r okay uh, say it with now ready one two three go Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little, little star, circumference, circumference is 2 pi r. How I wonder okay, what you are, are. area okay. is pi times r times r. Okay? So, always remember that. Okay, area. First problem. If the diameter of a circle is 10 centimeters, find the area. Find the area of a circle having a diameter of 10 centimeters. So, radius times radius is not radius times 2. They are different. See, the answers are the answers are different, right? Okay. So that's the common mistake of my students. They multiply by two. This is now area. This is not um, circumference. Okay, good job. That ends our lesson. Good job, Yana. Thank you for participating. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions um, during our discussion and, and regarding the entire lesson, if you have questions, just put it in comments. We will try our best to answer that. So for more of our videos, click subscribe.